Well, why not make a resolution this year to be a little bit neater? I mean, really, who doesn't enjoy an organized, tidy closet or an organized, tidy segment? Well, thankfully, here this morning to help us out, to help us clear the clutter, is our good friend, mom blogger, Audrey McClelland. There she is. Hi. Who doesn't love a good, tidy, organized, neat closet? You can tell us right? how to get that. I can tell you how because to get that. this is something we all struggle with. I know sometimes I open up where I have my T-shirts, and it's just, I don't know what to do. Where do we begin? Where do, you, where do we begin, right? I mean, yes. We're going to go through the stage. Ages, I think we right? should because this is quite relatable. Do you have trouble at home with the kids? I mean, they've got Oh my stuff. gosh. This morning, you know, even, and this is why I did it, okay? So my daughter has a bunch of clothes. I love clothes. My husband knows that. Might be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> but um, this past weekend, I literally looked at my closet and my daughter's closet and I said, that's it. We're organizing. We're getting a tidy, neat closet. So what did we do? We took everything out first. Yeah. I mean, every single article of clothing. So for you, blazers, t-shirts, you know, your, your dress shirts, your pants, everything, toss it all on the bed. And that was the first thing I did. And then I saw an open, neat closet. Nothing was in it. Like an oasis. It was an oasis. <laughs> it was a heaven. Um, and then, you know what, the best thing to do is, I don't know how you are with your clothes, but there's a ton of stuff that I don't wear anymore that I, to be honest with you, need to either donate or honestly just get rid of. Might there be holes in it, um, maybe a stain on it that I never got to dry clean, just something. That's the thing. And I think when you're looking at all the clothes, uh, what I try to do is chip away a little bit. Well, that's, yes. Although that's a good idea to put them all, then you can see the empty closet. But what I try to do is every time, maybe two shirts or th yes. that way I'm making a slow dent yes. you know I mean like yes. you have to have patience I would think with this especially if you've never tackled anything like that absolutely and listen I have a lot of clothes and what I ended up doing was this I took five things and for every five thing I got rid of one thing that's great and I just kind of kept doing that and then there's a lot of places too that you can sell clothes that maybe you don't use anymore mm -hmm. you could get a little bit of money for them um, but another great thing is to do is to donate I had four gigantic bags that I brought right to savers that's great and that felt good to do for sure so that was you know really the first thing kind of purge it down and get an organized Pile. Okay, once we've kind of, uh, we have some semblance of organization yeah. here, color, once we want to reorganize that closet. Yeah, you know, as you're putting stuff in, the best thing to do is to go by color. I mean, how many times out there have you gone through your closet and go, you know, I know I have this shirt in here, I know I have these pants, but when you put everything by color or by print, all your prints together, all your like navies together, all your white shirts together, put them by color, and then put them also by category. You know, have your shirts together, have your skirts together, your pants <laughs> together. I looked right at you when I said that, have your skirts together. Um, um, have Maybe your dresses I do want together. My Maybe together. Maybe you do want your skirts together. I don't know, and your dresses too. But when you go by category and color, you're organizing it completely. It doesn't matter, and this is the thing too. It doesn't matter if you have 20 things in your closet or 500 things. Absolutely, because I think that's one thing too. We have a lot of events here. We're always changing up wardrobes and going mm -hmm. to things, and many times it's time to get ready, and I don't know where something is. That way, right. if it's categorized, it makes it a little easier. All right, seasonally, if we can, storage, stuff if like that. If you can, I know. You know, it's funny. I will put this out on my blog, and I always get somebody that writes back. Well, I don't have the space to do that. You know, if you have the space to do it, this is a great way to, to be able to actually organize but all your winter stuff should be in our closets right now if we live in Rhode Island it's cold we don't need the shorts and tees yet although my son still wears shorts <laughs> to school do, which makes does. me want to kill them yeah. but um, yes yeah, so if you can go seasonally then it's the best way to do it too and how often let's talk frequency yeah. in terms of obviously we know seasonally we want to change up what right. is where but at the same time suppose we want to reorganize do we look at this maybe twice a year every quarter what's your best recommendation I mean everyone's different of course everyone's different I think every six months you know when I, I hadn't done it honesty since we moved so three years I hadn't done this yeah. so I looked at the stuff and I'm like this is just out of control and now I'm gonna be tackling my son's closets too next weekend well see that's what I want to know more about do they do they like this have they learned that this is going to help them in the long run, long run? is it a challenge for you to get them to buckle down and actually die? I would imagine it is because kids it's teenage impossible boys it's <laughs> impossible to get them to buckle down boys are different you know they just genuinely like throw things in and yeah. that's it you know this morning we couldn't find a pair of khaki pants <laughs> that was that was Alex's biggest issue this morning and mom found them right on the couch where I said they were and right. all the world was all as it should be again is there any way maybe we could turn this into some kind of a I don't know maybe they're too old for like a, a game some kind of competition within the kids or is that maybe should we stay out of that what do you, you I don't know, know I know gone are the days where I'm like listen whoever finishes <laughs> right. first gets a prize right I, I miss those days but you know I'm trying to teach them to you know this is the thing where the first thing we do in the morning usually is get dressed so if you're walking into a chaotic mess so, you know opening in a drawer and it's all chaos or closets right. all chaos that's the first thing that we're doing during the day so that's what I was trying to tell my sons I'm like listen the first thing you guys do is you get your clothes for school. Sure. Let's just make it 
easy. It's, it's, it's a great way to kind of kick off the day rather than going, Mom, where's this? Anything where's we that? can do to simplify. Absolutely. Yeah, we want to cut down on the bickering. Let's cut down on the bickering <laughs> with the four McClellan boys. Absolutely, <laughs> and I hope they're listening and watching right now. Audrey, great to see you. Great to As see you, always, some valuable advice. If you guys would like to review any of these great organization tips from Audrey, we'll have them posted. Just open up the closet and find roadshow.com. It'll be right there. <laughs>